guys welcome back to honest product review in today's video guys we will explain how to mount a roof rack wind deflector also known as the fairing okay this one right here stay with us we'll explain how to put it uh, we'll be explaining about a bmw right here but it's a universal fit and it should work multiple makes and models so let's explain what we use we'll put all our links in the description of the video below in case you need to buy one so this is the one that we have right here it's paid by Inu advanced car racks uh, it's uh, super flexible by the way okay you can see how flexible it is it is light uh, but it's uh, super easy to install as well uh, the only thing that it can okay is three mounts we mounted one of them to show you how it looks uh, this is the bolt you have three short bolts and uh, you have actually two four five uh, six long bolts okay because you have two bolts for each mount this is the bottom of the mount it fits really nice on the actually on the uh, uh, oval oval roof bars and it has a rubber on the bottom so it's not going to vibrate okay it has really good traction uh, we need to position the uh, roof rack for the bicycles a little bit towards the middle because one of the mounts will be right here and one on the other side so the bolt, okay, you can see it comes with a plastic bushing, okay, that fits perfectly, okay, right here. Then all we have to do, install the mount, and uh, right here you have the nut, and under the nut, okay, you have a, uh, actually a rubber, okay, a rubber plastic, uh, uh, plastic washer. So that uh, makes it a little bit harder to push the bolt in okay but uh, it makes everything super nice and quiet so all we have to do now from underneath just install uh, the nut okay we're going to get all these three okay these three mounts tight and we'll put it on the car and show you what else we need to do one thing that you need to pay attention is because this, the, those three mounts are actually different this is known as a center marked with a c okay because it's flat okay you can see where it contacts the, the uh, wind deflector this one is L and you can see how it sloped to the okay to the uh, left side this one is the opposite this is the right one so make sure you don't confuse these two so what I did I centered everything and you can see on the left one now it says L and it has an arrow pointing out uh, and that arrow usually should be somewhere in the middle of your roof rack okay everything needs to align those are still loose I haven't uh, tightened them because we need to uh, adjust them but if you uh, look on this side okay I have to move this one a little bit as well okay because that arrow doesn't align needs to be okay like that now uh, all we have to do do the middle one right here okay which will do last I'll first do the inside ones uh, those are uh, pretty easy all I have to do get two bolts they go from the top install this one okay and get it tight so i want to show you guys okay i installed it now uh, there is something else that we need to do but there is one problem okay <laughs> actually uh, you might need to get three bolts to be longer on the front side here okay because uh, for me it was impossible to install the uh, black nut okay twisting nut, nut on the bottom so what i had to do i actually guys okay removed it on this side which i shouldn't do but i I uh, went ahead and ordered longer bolts, okay, for both sides. So in that case, I'll just get six bolts and make it, okay, a little bit, okay, a little bit longer. Now, uh, it comes with clear tape that we're going to install under, okay, the legs right here so it doesn't scratch anything. So what I'll recommend, okay, get a cleaning spray, clean right underneath it really good. Uh, install the protective clear tape, okay, and we're going to adjust the angle. So yeah i installed it guys we installed the protective uh, fumes we got everything tight okay really really tight and it looks uh, it looks pretty good now i'm gonna have a long uh, long term review and let you know uh, how it works if it vibrates if it has any uh, decrease in the wind noise all that will be coming in the next next video so thank you for watching and see you guys next time